Hi, are you taking the US citizenship test? This video is part eight on the symbols that you need to know for the test. There are eight videos in this series that contain all the facts you need to know to pass the test first time. It's from the official government study guide. It contains all of the 100 questions and answers that you need to learn for the test. Let's get started. Symbols. There are 13 stripes on the flag because there were 13 original colonies. We call the American flag the Stars and Stripes. For 18 years after the United States became an independent country, the flag had only 13 stripes. In 1794, Kentucky and Vermont joined the United States and two stripes were added to the flag. In 1818, Congress decided that the number of stripes on the flag should always be 13. This would honour the original states that were colonies of Great Britain before America's independence. Each star on the flag represents a state. This is why the number of stars has changed over the years from 13 to 50. The number of stars reached 50 in 1959 when Hawaii joined the United States as the 50th state. In 1777, the Second Continental Congress passed the First Flag Act, stating, Resolved that the flag of the United States be made of 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field, representing a new constellation. During the War of 1812, British soldiers invaded the United States. On the night of September the 13th, 1814, British warships bombed Fort McHenry. This fort protected the city of Baltimore, Maryland. An American named Francis Scott Key watched the bombing and thought the fort would fall. As the sun rose the next morning, Key looked toward the fort. He saw that the flag above the fort was still flying. This let him know that the British had not defeated the Americans. Immediately, Key wrote the words to a poem he called the defence of Fort McHenry. The words of the poem became the Star-Spangled Banner. Congress passed a law in 1931 naming the Star-Spangled Banner as the official national anthem. Here are the words to the first verse of the national anthem. The Star-Spangled Banner Oh, say, can you see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave? Holidays In the United States, we celebrate Independence Day on July the 4th to mark the anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. After signing the Declaration of Independence, John Adams wrote to his wife, saying... I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. The Declaration of Independence, written by Thomas Jefferson, explained why the colonies had decided to separate from Great Britain. Americans celebrate the 4th of July as the birthday of America, with parades, fireworks, patriotic songs and readings of the Declaration of Independence. Many Americans celebrate national or federal holidays. These holidays often honour people or events in our American heritage. 
these holidays are national in a legal sense, only for federal institutions and in the District of Columbia. Typically, federal offices are closed on these holidays. Each state can decide whether or not to celebrate the holiday. Businesses, schools and commercial establishments may choose whether or not to close on these days. Since 1971, federal holidays are observed on Mondays except for New Year's Day, Independence Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Let's turn to the questions and answers that you need to learn for this part of the civics test. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? The answer is because there were 13 original colonies or because the stripes represent the original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? The answer is because there is one star for each state or because each star represents a state or because there are 50 states. What is the name of the national anthem? The answer is the Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? The answer is the 4th of July. Name two national US holidays. Potential answers are New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, President's Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labour Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Thanks for watching. Now that you have watched all the videos in this series, you should have all the facts you need to know to prepare for and pass the civics test first time. Good luck in the test.